Hey guys, sorry I'm on my phone today, so I don't know how great the quality is going to be or if I'm covering the, the mic with my finger anywhere. Just thought I'd check in with you guys. I'm at the orthodontist, so um, hopefully I can get that Invisalign process started. But I wanted to update you guys also on my uh, pediatrics course. So I'm only a few classes in. Uh, it's a very short also, actually. It's like two and a half weeks long. Um, and the reason that that is, is of course, as we go through other classes, like once we get to mechanical ventilation, we're gonna revisit a lot of the things from pediatrics um, just to keep it fresh in our minds. So primarily what we started covering right now are disease processes for uh, premature infants, term infants, and uh, children. So I've got like a whole list here <laughs> that we've covered so far. Um, on top of things like the APGAR test, which is the, the scoring system for children, you perform it one minute after birth and then five minutes after birth, kind of like a, a test to tell you how well the child is thriving. Um, and then we've been covering respiratory distress syndrome, transient tachypnea, meconium aspiration syndrome, uh, bronchopulmonary dysplasia, apnea prematurity, pulmonary vascular diseases, congenital abnormalities like uh, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, congenital heart diseases, SIDS, croup, uh, GERD, epiglottitis, and of course cystic fibrosis. So we're really uh, hammering down just in the first couple of days here. Like I said, I've only had two classes so far, four hours each class, so a total of eight lecture hours so far and these are just some of the things we've covered because we've also of course been covering uh, you know pediatric assessment as well which is a bit different than adult uh, assessment and then of course you've got things changing such as uh, a much higher heart rate much higher respiratory rate depending on the age of the child and each age is a little bit different um, I'm kind of looking to see what the tricks are to memorize them. I've noticed that there's uh, some correlation between uh, some of the ventilation and suctioning and things like blood pressure. I want to make sure I have it fully nailed down before I pass on any tips that I'm learning to you guys, of course. Uh, but if you guys happen to know of any correlation or anything that's been helping you or helped you in your pediatrics course, feel free to share down below. I know I've got some other people watching that are also either about to enter the respiratory therapy program or already in it because you never know our courses may be structured differently I've spoken to some people that didn't have their pediatrics course quite so soon because for me I'm having my pediatrics course in my second semester but I actually won't go out on my pediatrics rotation I believe until my fifth semester which is the last semester I'm doing it pretty early but like I mentioned before, we actually are going to go back and retouch on a lot of this information. I guess one of the mechanical ventilation classes that I'll have will actually cover uh, pediatric mechanical ventilation because of course that's going to be very different and then we do introduce a bit of that information in each class as well. So um, I'm going to head into the orthodontist and hopefully get rid of this thing in my mouth or at least you know get a step closer to getting Invisalign. And once I get back, if anything interesting happens, I will let you know. So good news! I got my little distal carrier off, so I'm one step closer. I uh, did my scans today for the, the digital imaging for um, the Invisalign. So I'll come back tomorrow because since they did put some extra spaces in my teeth, I need to get a temporary retainer. I'll come back tomorrow and get the temporary retainer and then basically it's just waiting until Invisalign sends the trays and the orthodontist approves the trays. So good news. And um, I guess, oh yeah, the only other thing I have to update you guys about with school is I'll have a pediatrics exam on Wednesday covering all of that information that I mentioned earlier and a few other things and then I will have a final EKG lab on Thursday basically they're gonna have me go in hook up the EKG um, and they're gonna you know make sure I do that whole process correctly and then they're going to give me some rhythm strips see if I can read them say what the rhythm is rhythm or arrhythmia depending whatever it is and then if there's any treatment indicated if so what it is so once that happens I will let you guys know how that goes I guess all right well thanks again for watching and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below and again like subscribe and I'll see you next time
and of course, cyst effects. Awesome. Temporary. Um, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I need to get a temporary retainer, that's what I want to say. <laughs>